Hello and welcome to week two of US history. So in this video, we'll be previewing the coming week. You can expect these videos, these weekly videos to be posted on the Sunday page of your Beyond Classroom platform every week. So in week two, we start to dig in to the material. The first week was a very introductory week. Now we start having a little more substance in terms of the material and curriculum itself. So I'm just going to introduce it a little bit and then move on to a slide that has the four issues that we'll be discussing this week. So we will explore the causes that led to the American Revolution, the eventual triumph of the American colonies, the immediate aftermath of the revolution, and the critical role played by the Articles of Confederation in shaping the fledgling nation. So these are the four points that we'll be talking about this week. I am going to briefly discuss over the slide each and every one of them briefly. So the seeds of the American Revolution were sown through a complex interplay of political, economic, and ideological factors. One key catalyst was the issue of taxation without representation. You might have heard of that term before. The British imposed a series of taxes on the colonies, including the infamous Stamp Act and the Townshed Acts, which generated significant resentment among the colonists. The rallying cry of no taxation without representation echoed the deep-seated belief that they should have a say in the decisions that affected their lives. Furthermore, the notion of individual rights and the spread of Enlightenment ideals played a pivotal role. Concepts such as liberty, equality, and the pursuit of happiness began to gain prominence, fostering a desire for greater autonomy and self-governance. The Continental Congress, with figures like Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Jefferson, provided a platform for the articulation of these ideals eventually culminating in the Declaration of Independence in 1776. So the American Revolutionary War was a testament to the perseverance and determination of the colonial forces. So they were facing off against a formidable British army. The rebels demonstrated strategic brilliance and an unwavering commitment to their cause. The turning point in the war came with the decisive victory at Yorktown in 17. 81, where General George Washington's leadership, combined with French naval support, forced the British to surrender. This marked a significant milestone leading to the Treaty of Paris in 1783, officially recognizing the independence of the United States. Excuse me. So we move on to the immediate aftermath of the revolution. This period ushered in uh, immense challenges and opportunities. The newly independent United States faced the daunting task of nation building. The first order of business was, of course, the creation of a function, functioning government, which brings us to the Articles of Confederation. Now, the Articles of Confederation, ratified in 1781, served as the United States' first attempt at a national framework of governance. However, the limitation of the system quickly became apparent. The central government lacked the authority to levy taxes, regulate commerce, and maintain a standing army. This led to economic instability, interstate disputes, and difficulties in repaying war debts. So recognizing the need for a more robust and unified government, the Constitutional Convention was convened in 1787. The result was the United States Constitution a groundbreaking document that established a federal system with a separation of powers or a system of checks and balances among the executive, legislative, and judicial branches. The Constitution's ingenious system of checks and balances ensured that no single branch could amass unchecked power. So in conclusion, the American Revolution stands as a pivotal moment in world history. Fueled by grievances over representation, inspired by Enlightenment ideals, and concluding with a resounding victory for the American colonies. The immediate aftermath 
highlighted the, the challenges of establishing a functional government leading to the Articles of Confederation, which proved to be insufficient and which thereon pro uh, brought, uh, paved the way for the United States con Constitution. So as we reflect on these events, we'll talk about a little bit about the human determination, the capacity to shape a better future through unity, resilience, and visionary leadership. So thank you, and I look forward to seeing all of you in class.